Hi, this is James Gordon of Live here for an offer appreciation video. Today is Jamie Bollard's birthday. He's the English science fiction post apocalyptic um, surreal writer. And he was born on November 15th, 1930, and passed away in April 19th of 2009 at the age of 78. I ha I've read a couple of his books. Uh, his stuff is, is, is different from uh, other offers, but it's really good. Um, I actually start start out with his earlier stuff, and then later I moved on to his later stuff. And there's been some stuff I haven't liked by Jerry Bollard, but there's uh, other stuff that I really like by this offer. So I'm gonna uh, show the collection of books I own by this offer. And this is a, also an update um, update on my uh, other Jerry Bollard video. Uh, since that one wasn't really doing well, it only had like seven views, and it didn't seem to gain any more traction. So I decided I'm gonna update the video because I got some other books by this offer. All right. Let's get started. So, first book I got here, The Drowned World. All right. This is from Carl, Carl and Graf Publishers Incorporated. And this edition is from 1987. I think it says on the back here the um, art cover work is by Tom Mc uh, This is a post apocalyptic uh, novel set in London when the uh, water level increases and London gets turned to like this like swamp tropical environment. It was a very interesting story, uh, a bit different, but it was really interesting. Okay, next the drought. Again, I really like this cover. This is from Triad Panfer, and this edition is from 1978. Say who did the cover? Hmm. No. Uh, Sally does not. Uh, this one is basically it's kind of like the, it's kind of like uh, the drama, but it's just uh, a, a reverse role where the water level is go is like nearly gone. So uh, most of the world's turned to a desert. Jay Ballard's early stuff he started out with post apocalyptic fiction, then he moved on to surreal um, themes, and then did like a mixture of like science fiction and a whole bunch of other stuff. All right. Okay. This next book here is the, actually the first one I read by Jay Ballard, The Crystal World. It's a really nice cover. This is also from Triad Panther, and this edition is also from 1978. So this one is basically about where uh, there's a country in Africa where um, this these crystals start growing, and if animals come, or people come in contact with them, the crystals will grow on them, eventually kill them, and it's like spreading rapidly, and a, a, a reporter is sent to investigate, and... It just it the, the the trip that he takes with a lot of these other people it nearly kills them and some people try to collect these gemstones to see if they can sell them which turns out to be um uh, absolutely like very dangerous to do. This was a really strange book, but it, I had to admit it was very different. It was entertaining, so I'll have to definitely read these on the channel. Okay, all right, one of the newer books I got recently, Concrete Island. This is from Vintage Books, and this originally was published in 74. This edition is from September of 85, and cover design by um, Chris Moore. This is a story about a guy that basically is driving his car, he loses control and crashes off the freeway and is stranded there and basically finds like some homeless people living there and he's basically is trying to survive while get out of this... Um, like the highway he's under like he's under like the the highway and stuff and finds like wrecked cars and stuff this sounds really interesting all right okay next crash probably one of his most well-known novels he wrote all 
Alright, this is from Vintage. Oops. And it was originally published in 73. This edition is from 1995. I actually tried this book uh, many years ago. I got uh, I got a newer edition of chapters, and I didn't get far in it. It was a, it's very difficult to read, so I'm going to give this book another try. However, it is quite a challenge to read through, as I heard it, it kind of gets um, gross in parts. All right, all right. Next one, the Unlimited Dream Company. I heard this is like a fan favorite among JB Baller fans. Alright, this is from Triad Panther, and this edition is from. It's first published in 1981. This is a reprint from 1985. Cover designed by James Marsh. So, this is one of um, his surreal novels, where basically it's about a pilot who loses his job, has a argument with his girlfriend, and murders her in a fit of rage, and then. He panics and he steals a plane and he happens to crash land near his town and enters like this dreamlike um, surreal world where uh, he can't escape the town and every time he tries like um, there's a part where he's like trying to run off the field and just expands it just it keeps expanding until he gives up and then at one point he tries leaving by going across the bridge the bridge is always up and he, he, he decides to stay and a bunch of other things happened. This was a really weird book, but it, it is really good. I definitely have to review this on the channel. Okay, another one. High Rise. This is one of the fewer newer editions I own. This is from Fourth Estate. And this was originally published in 1975. This edition is... 2014. This was a novel when I when I discovered, and I was kind of baffled by the plot. Basically, a bunch of people are like fighting each other in this high rise, and they say they don't want to leave. And I kind of didn't understand it, and I decided to just read it, see what see what the fuss was about. And this turned out to be a really good book. Uh, I definitely like to get some other editions of High Rise. There's some other good covers. All right, and the last book I got, the best. Sto the best short stories of Jay Bollard. This is from Henry Holt and Company. And this was uh, first published in 1978. This edition is. Uh, it doesn't have a date on it, but this has a collection of his short stories, and there's a lot of good ones in here. Uh, I'll definitely have to review this on the channel. Okay, that's it for this uh, appreciation video today. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you're a fan of Jay Bollard um, or heard of these novels, uh, please let me know. And if you haven't heard of these novels, these might interest you. Now, I'll definitely have to uh, check out some other Jay Bollard novels in the future. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to October Library, the YouTube channel, and Facebook group of the same name. And please post your review of fiction. Until then, I'll catch you later.